Peace. Today's mathematics is knowledge, knowledge, all being born of wisdom. In order for you to knowledge your knowledge, you got to at least be able to know what the truth is in order for you to knowledge it. So if you're not around nobody that know the truth, you can't just be reading books in order for you to get the truth. You got to be around the knowledge to know the knowledge. That's the only way your wisdom becomes in tune or the way for your wisdom to be sharp. Okay, that's the day's math. Knowledge, knowledge, all being born of wisdom. I wanted to do a little joint, man, because it's a lot of things I'm seeing, you know, that's not right and exact. And I don't know whether people noticing it or not, but we got a lot of things we got to do that we're not doing. We spending a whole lot of times on people names and people way of life. Who is the 5%? It tell you who it is. It tell you that it's Muslims. It tell you that it's Muslim sons and it tell you that it's civilized people. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a, a, a bunch of people sitting online arguing with Muslims. For what? They part of the 5%, whether you want to accept it or not. The lessons say it. They're not a part of the nation of gods and earths, but they civilize either which way it go. You spending so much time trying to, trying to convert them or change their mind. You're not going to change their mind because their mind is already made up. That's why they go to the mosque. That's why they go to church. Because their minds is already made up that that's what they want to do. They'll sit down and agree with you and still go back to doing what they got to do because you ain't with them 24 hours, 7 days a week. That's the 10% of the people. Now we got the 85%. These is people that don't know nothing and y'all ain't wasting no time with them. Y'all ain't, the 85% get no energy whatsoever. Everybody energy is wasted on why kill? Uh, the, the nation of Islam, y'all ain't gods, and this, that, and the third. Yo, we don't got to waste our time with that. Let's waste our time on the people that need to know the truth. It's more of them than it is the 10%, and it's more 10% than it is 5%. So let's get on our job. Y'all wasting time on, on, on names. If you want to be called shit on a stick, I may not call you shit on a stick, but I sure enough will call you stick. All right? A, a, a hundred posts and things of that nature with this sister, Goddess C. Mecca. What do y'all think? Y'all gonna change her from being a, from using the term Goddess C. Mecca? She ain't gonna change her name for y'all. Just like ain't no Muslim gonna stop being a Muslim for, for, for y'all. You can build with Allah's most precious jewel. She'll tell you she was a goddess. She returned home, being a goddess. Let's stop wasting time on things that don't need to be wasted on. Other than that, we're going to still be the 5%, and it's still going to be 85% of the people walking around, not knowing who their origin is, what's going on in the world, what they're supposed to be doing with their babies, how to take care of their women, how to take care of their family. These are the things that need to be put out there, and, these are, and this is our job as a 5%. As a 5%, your duty is not to sit there and try to convert a Muslim or a Christian. For what? They're civilized. If a person sits down and reads the Bible, regardless of what the Bible tells them, the Bible tells them don't eat pork. And the Bible tells them to don't mess with their neighbors and to take care of their family. You can't, you can't, you can't touch that. There's, there's no need to argue with that. Your, your only reason for arguing with them is that you want to argue with them because, quote unquote, they don't see themselves as being God. What do you expect when they're dealing in the 10% world? A lot of y'all don't understand these lessons. And in order for you to understand the lessons, you got to understand your life. Knowledge, your knowledge. Stop worrying about another person's knowledge. Your knowledge should be what's important. And the ones that don't know your knowledge is the 85%. You want to know why? Because you're wasting it on Muslims and Moors and Bays. Stop trying to convert other people. You're trying to convert other people that, 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 that already got an a, 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 a idea already in their mind on what they want to do. That's why it's so much bickering and it's back and forth. 
it gets to a point to where it start getting rude and disrespectful. And then everybody's supposed to be righteous, civilized. We can't do that. We can't, listen, there's no need to try to convert a Muslim. Y'all arguing with Waqil, arguing with, Wa with Waqil for what? Every time y'all argue with him, a new book. He takes what you give him and creates his book. This is what the God said. This is what the God said. This is what the God said. This is what the earth said. This is what the earth said. He know exactly what you said because you debating with him back and forth. You're not going to change Waqil from being who he is. Just like you ain't gonna change no Sunni Muslim, no Orthodox Muslim, no Nation of Islam Muslim, no Christian, no Baptist, no, no, no Catholic, none of that. You're not gonna change them. But you can change the 85% because they ain't even got a damn origin. And those are the people y'all are not wasting y'all time on. With that, I say peace.